clean your computer or it might explode. Well, okay, maybe it won't explode, but it might burst into flames. No, no, that most likely won't happen either. But dust buildup inside of a computer can cause serious problems. Your heat sinks will get clogged up, your fans will get dusty. Your fans will start to make more noise, be less efficient when transferring heat. And your heat sinks will have less air travel because they're clogged up. So they'll dissipate less heat, which can actually, if left alone too long, cause crashes and slowdowns and other irritating issues. So let's clean my computer today. And because it's so dusty, I left it for about half, half a year to a year. We're going to do this outside. Are you going to come with me? Let's go see. So your computer has been running for a while and well, computers run for a while they get dusty I'm going to do an upgrade today but before I do that we're going to clean my computer and as I was able to see from the back <coughs> as you can see here it's uh, it's become quite dirty as you can see yeah all kinds of dust <coughs> so let's open it up and see how it looks inside That's probably going to be worse. And this is from less than a year. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, we're going to clean all that off, so that's no problem. But you should do regular maintenance on your computer. <coughs> making sure it's dust free. Because if too much dust accumulates inside of it, it could uh, lower cooling performance or even crash stuff and overheat your CPU and cause all kinds of bad stuff. Well, as you can see, mine has become quite dusty over this period of time. We really need to do something about that. Okay. What I'll be using is called a DataVac. <coughs> it's a specialized computer vacuum or well blower vacuum it, it sucks in air on the bottom and then blows it out very fast at the top and it's safer to use than say a uh, vacuum cleaner because of that you have to be you have to come very close and also because it's sucking uh, there it's more prone to air and static electricity and stuff like that than this thing does so <coughs> uh, be prepared there will be a dust cloud let me frame that shot a bit better. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, that's the first part done. That already looks a lot better. There's a giant amounts of dust that came out. And if you ask me, don't you have any dust filters? Well, yes, yes I do. But those are only so effective. After a while they just clog up and that's it. Uh, I know there's one over here. Uh, let's clean that off.
Okay, let's also try and take off the front and see if there's any dust behind there. Probably is. Oh wow. Yep. Make sure all connectors are still connected when you put it back. There we go. Okay. Well, that should be about it. Put the dust filter back in. There we go. And it's uh, looking a lot cleaner than it did before. Especially the fans will have an easier time rotating. rotating. But also this uh, radiator will accumulate dust, even if there's dust filters in front of it. And you saw what came out of the GPU. So yeah, it should make for a quieter PC, which performs better. And uh, I wasn't having any crashes, but if, I, if this would have continued for a while longer, that would have certainly started happening. So last thing to do <coughs> is this part. And that's it. That's how you should clean your PC. <laughs> and best to do thing, this is, uh, I guess, every half year or so. It depends on how dusty your environment is. The one this piece, the environment where this PC stands is quite dusty, as you can see. But it'll keep your run hardware running tip top and um, make sure it doesn't overheat. So, yeah, I can highly recommend cleaning now and then. And these data facts. vacuum cleaners you can get dust cans but if you're uh, you, if you do a lot with computers like I do or electronics in general uh, using dust cans gets really expensive really fast and although these things these things aren't cheap uh, they're certainly effective in the long run and they actually work a lot better than a dust can too so yeah I uh, hope to guys see you guys in a future video like this video and subscribe and uh, yeah, talk to you soon.